Tebogo Tekisho, known to you and I as Proverb, is an iconic South African hip-hop recording artist, MC, lecturer, brand ambassador, TV, radio personality. He also finds time to catch some sleep, by the way. <laughs> Proverb joins us to talk <laughs> hip-hop, idols, essay, and the possibility of us collaborating on a track, apparently. Oh, absolutely. I'm absolutely. keen. Why not? Of course. <laughs> That's why I was talking to our floor director here, yes. Chris, about the Skatamia and Ngashio. Uh, Right. And Bakanga, so that he can also induct me, make sure I'm trained appropriately in one of those. So I want to become something in music, one way or another. Uh, it has to be done. And look, you've got the voice, you've got the experience, the look, if I may. Oh, really? So why not? Okay. <laughs> if I can just get a bit of touch up here and there. Why not? Then <laughs> off I will go. I'm very pleased that you're walking, well, not up to the music part, you know, that, but we've, went through, we've gone through the same place that you have spending time at uh, Radio Metro. Yes. And uh, you know, you, you wouldn't believe, I also uh, became, was, a, was a technical producer. Oh. Many years ago, when I started working on radio. Huh. Yeah, but I couldn't last for longer than one year, you see. Right, I was right. too much in a hurry. To... Well, also, I'm sure uh, you were too opinionated to remain behind the scenes. I suppose. You know. I and, suppose. Uh, I'm sure at some point your views then had to be shared and you came to the fore. But one thing I appreciate about you is that your reputation precedes you, and I've known about you from a distance, wow. and I've heard wonderful things about the work that you do in the music industry and how professional you are. It does not matter what uh, project you work on. Sure, Moho, like I can only be, be humbled by that, and uh, you know, I, I was also taken by the intro. Um, so look, I, I think I'm a, I'm a simple kid from a small town yeah. and uh, I've remained true to who I am. So I think if anything, I, I perhaps attributed all to uh, my background, you know, to how I was raised. And, uh, you know, I, look, I don't claim to be humble because, you know, by virtue of claiming humility, yes. you are immediately the opposite. Oh, it's seen as false modesty. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You know, uh, but, I, but I think what, what informs who I am is largely based on where I'm from. Yeah, but now, you know, being here and uh, being part of the hip-hop crowd, the music yes. industry, it's been quite a trip for you. You know, any particular yeah. experiences that stand out for you. Yeah. Obviously, I can imagine the first first album right. was, would always be the one that stands out for most most uh, musicians. Look, uh, music has always been a, a passion of mine, and I've never thought of it as a career I could pursue. For now, it was always... Something to be enjoyed. Here's my career, yes. I'm Arira Adala. Yes. You okay, know. okay. Uh, here hey. is just because I have a big mouth, I, I talk a you, lot. You want to express. To exactly. Me. Yeah. But what's interesting is even at my first album, that was kind of still my feeling, mm. which is I'm still pursuing my career. Music is just something I happen to do. Yes. It's only when you celebrate a decade in the business that you realize that you realize. Hey, man. I've made a career out of this Precisely. thing. Precisely. You know, I, I make a living out of this thing. I sustain myself out of this thing. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a market who enjoy and what I do. And you're actually known for doing what you love, not the work that you do. Absolutely. Because if we were just to disclose that you trained as a sound engineer, yes. people say, really? Yeah. But that, that's why you then have to review what your understanding of a career is. Yes. Because at first, you know, we grow up believing, no, 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 if you're wearing a a smart suit and a tie, you go into an office and you sit in the corner. Like me. You have a, a career. Like me now. Exactly. I've got a Mar career. <laughs> on stage is the yo, yo, yo. Yes. Surely that's not a career. Yeah. You know, but I think uh, my generation and clearly the current generation as well, we have redefined what it means to have a career. Well, I must give you credit together with the generation, yes. because I noticed that you are not focused on one part of who you are, yeah. that you've got so many different things that you do, but together, a portfolio become who you are, if you know what I mean. Right, right. right? So you, you stretch all over the place, and, and there's a better understanding about how your career is your business. Right. Because, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Because In fact, we are the business. Precisely. Yeah. And, but I must also say, and that Tim, we grew up watching the likes of yourselves. Mm -hmm. So one day we'll cut the TV on and there you are. Then we'll switch on the radio, 
there you are. Then we'll flip the pages of a, a, a magazine or a book, there you are. Then you start realizing, wait a minute, if, if these guys can diversify, you know, we can not only learn, but take it a step further. Yeah. And then say, all right, how much more can we do? And by so doing, we also set it up for the generation following us to not only show them what's possible and to open the doors, but also to just open their horizon and broaden them. And so the, the world ends up our oyster. But you know, what, which is great, and I'm happy that it, everything is, is managed in a business-like manner. Oh, yeah. Whereas, you know, previously, somebody behind the scenes would have been in charge of yeah. what goes on, whether you know them or not. Right. You know, invariably, they, they direct where you can or cannot go. Yes. And you guys co control it today. It's fantastic. Problem, probably, is that as you become brands and there's this management, right. then you, there's a lot of intrusion mm. into your lives yeah. than ever before. Must be hectic, is it? Look, it, it is hectic. Um, you know, we, we perhaps don't own our lives as much as we want to believe we do. You obviously try and retain as much sanity and ownership of, of your space as you can. But as, you know, our brands grow and, you know, the advent of technology hasn't made it easier at all. Yes. Uh, you know, to maintain any kind of uh, privacy. You know, but I think within that space, you you do your best to maintain as much as you can. Mare, as you say, our our lives are no longer ours. We live under a, a microscope. Yeah. Um, well, but I suppose it's because <laughs> you have to engage with the world yourselves, you see, because Absolutely. you can also be blamed that there's no other way people are going to know of your new product and new music unless you tell them. So you put yeah. yourself out there. You do. And then there will be come back of sorts, yeah, uh, unfortunately, it. in that two-way engagement. Absolutely. Anyway, as I've said, there's so much for us to talk about yes, and there's a lot of catching up. For now, I just wanted to lay the field first, you know, yeah. and say, okay, I'll work on this road. Yeah. And yeah. then we'll travel on it together. We'll start planting. Uh, we'll plant and walk the road together. Yes, Mahola. That's a proverb all the way from Kimberly. 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 Northern King. Exactly. Yeah. Bringing Kimberly to Joburg, taking Joburg back to Kimberly and connecting South Africa that way. We appreciate your work and we appreciate your time.